Great! I'm Red, the leader of the Freaky Five, and I never let nobody ever keep me waiting. Oh, so it's you! Give Pippa Cheek back! You'll have to fight me first, you crumb bum! You can have him back if you beat me. We already transferred the data into the laser, so we couldn't care less about that pesky poaching guy anyway. You serious? Ha 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 ha! You bet I am, and since I'm the leader, I'm super strong! These muscles are more than you can handle, little boy. Oh, I'm just burning up thinking about it. There ain't nothing you can do to put this fire out, pal. Yeah! And so the battle of the against Red Monkey begins. I do not remember how this freaking works. Alright, well, he's flying around the stage. Oh, also, he has like, um, one shot KOs. Or, each shot will take out one cookie. So, careful that. Oh god, I hate this attack. No? I really don't remember how this... <sighs> I think the super hoops is what you want. So let's uh, bring it out. Run! Alright. So you gotta wait until he uses his spinning attack. And then he'll run around. Oh, also, he'll body slam a dinosaur. You wanna use the sky flyer to jump o over that. Also, this says something in Japanese. I just can't read it. I don't really care to. Kind of, uh, busy. Can you hit him during any other attack, or is it just that one? He said push. Alright, so he has vocal cues, like any good boss. Also, he doesn't stay stunned very long, so try not to run too far away. Yeah, this battle usually takes me quite a while to beat, because of the way it works. You can dodge that without the super hoop, but it's kind of difficult to. So, I prefer to just use the stupid thing. And one more dinosaur body slam. Alright, easy enough. Alright, he's in yellow stage now. He does have some new attacks, I believe, but uh, he's not showing them off. Not that I'm complaining too much! Alright, he should come out of it. There. Alright. Gonna body slam another dinosaur? Yes, that's a yes! Oh, now he's on fire! Now he's on fire! Alright, so he can leave trails of fire. That's, um, scary. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get hit here. Okay. Cool. Alright, now he's in red. I think he gets a new attack instead of body slamming a dinosaur. No, I guess not. Okay. Thinking of something else, I guess. Don't know what I'm thinking of, but I'm thinking of something else. Oh, he dropped a cookie. I want that. Don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by that either. Are you done? Is he saying push or tush? Because it could be one or the other. And just like that, the bell rings and Monkey Red goes down. This is and for no the final time, time for celebration, young oh, Jimmy. Okay. It seems that Spectre kidnapped Pippochi to get the data on humans he needed to finish his lethargy laser. Now that they've input the data, it won't be long before they fire the laser. 
You must hurry! But just what is the leather? We're getting closer to Spectre's base. It's going to get harder from now on. Do your best. As I was about to say, just what is the lethargy laser? Where is it? And can we stop it? Find out next time. Oh, hey, we got the third mini game on the final str on the beginning of the final stretch of the game of Let's Play If Escape 2. First, Gotcha Box. Yeah, the freaking Monkey 5. That's kinda cute. Boop. What do we got? More concept art. Natalie! Does one mean the one they went with and not like in actual order of what they sketched? Because that looks pretty close. The sauna and the um... A ages, ages vape, whatever the heck it's called. Hey, the monkey's new clothes. I was kind of wondering where that was, to be honest. Don't know why. Hmm. So, this is actually a thing. Interesting. Hey, no, from Spectre. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and more concept art of Pipchi. Aww. Adorable. So, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Ape Escape 2. Next time, we enter Skyscraper City. Until then, later, guys.